Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel, The Love Story. Today I'm going to do your weekly love reading for the month of September. Keep in mind that these readings are general. This may be resonate with you or maybe not resonate with each and every one of you. If it resonates with you, you can take guidelines from this reading. And if it not resonate with you, you can simply ignore it. And for covering every area of your love life, I'm going to use this pattern, this thread. This is easy for both of us to understand what is happening in your love life. I'm going to take four cards for your partner's feeling, attention, and current situation. Four cards for your feeling, attention, and current situation. And two cards for your mutual feelings. So, uh, let's get started, Cancer. What is the Cancer person's feelings towards Cancer? What is the Cancer person's feelings towards Cancer? What is the Cancer person's feelings towards Cancer? We are having here Ten of Cups, Nine of Swords, Empress, and Ace of Swords. So what are the Cancer's feelings toward this person? What are the Cancer's feelings towards this person? We are having here Six of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Javel. Okay, what is the mutual energies? We are having here Five of Wands and Page of Wands. These are your cards and the sign that could be related to your person. It could be any Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with this Ten of Cups, Capricorn with this Devil, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn with this uh, Ten of Pentacles, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with this Nine of Sword, Ace of Sword, and Six of Sword, Taurus with this Hierophant, Ladies, Leo, Sagittarius with this, with this Five of Wands and Page of Wands. So let's talk about your person feeling first. So, Cancer, this person see you as wish fulfillment, a perfect marriage material. They, they see you as a completion of love. And this person thinks that if you marry someone, you definitely make this person really happy. And this thought of you being married with someone as, as in your chart, this uh, Hierophant, definitely you want marriage. You want to marry someone. You want marriage in your life. And this person is somehow unable to give you this. And uh, the thought of you being married, being married with someone, bring this person uh, anxiety. Bring this person, bring this person depression. They are losing their nights. They are sleepless. They are so in fears they, they 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 are not healthy they they are losing their nights over this and they see you as this empress these two beautiful cards ten of cups and the empress they see you so nurturing so motherly really loving person who do who just uh, made of love and uh, they feel like that with this Ace of Sword, you are going to start a new beginning. Definitely, they, they feel like that. The new beginning uh, for you is not easy. But you, you, they feel like that you cut them off from their life with this Ace of Sword. And uh, this brings this person anxiety and depression. As Nine of uh, Sword under as ace of sword under the nine of sword definitely you cut this person off from for your life and this person in depression right now this person is sleepless and losing their nights over this and they know that you are the perfect marriage material you are a perfection you are a completion of love you are with this uh, uh, empress card they know that they realize that Definitely, they know that you are a 
so sweet, so loving, so caring, really resourceful. And you make your environment beautiful. Wherever you step in, you just flip the environment into a peaceful and loving uh, environment. So, but you somehow cut this person off from this their life. And this person is definitely not so happy with this. So let's talk about your feelings. Cancer. Right now, with this Six of Swords, definitely you moving forward in your life and you put everything behind you. Every depression, every anxiety, every bad memory, everything that makes you unhappy, you are putting this behind and moving forward. And with this, uh, along with this Nine of Pentacles, with the Six of uh, Swords and with this Nine of Pentacles, you are definitely enjoying your abundance. You are enjoying your singlehood you are happy being single you are loving yourself you are nourishing yourself and you don't want this toxic and obsession in your life you don't want to be in some kind of obsession anymore you with this devil card you know that this person is toxic for you that's why you cut this person off you don't want any obsession you don't want to be this uh, karmic uh, soulmate in your life anymore you don't want this definitely you feel some kind of pull toward this person but you don't want this anymore that's why you are uh, you are leaving every this obsession behind actually you are leaving this obsession behind and you are enjoying your singlehood and uh, and with this hero front card you want to start a new beginning in a relational way like you want to get married you you want or you, if if there, there is nothing about marriage, maybe some of you, you just want to be a person who is just helpful for others. You want to offer your help to others. You want to, like, you want that uh, uh, charity in your life. You, you, want, you want to guide other uh, human beings. You want to help human beings. You want to help humanity by your experience you are putting this uh, obsession behind and moving forward just uh, and be in single energy and uh, you want to just help to other people you want to guide other people and some of you maybe you put all this behind and want to start a new uh, beginning uh, a stable beginning so let's see what is the mutual energies. This person is feeling some kind of competition, some kind of uh, fight going on between uh, both of you with this five of wands. There is competition, there is conflict between both of you, there is a disagreement between both of you. Maybe this person is fighting with people. Or maybe this person is fighting with people. A lot of people involved in this fight. And with this uh, page of wand, you want a new love. As this head of wand and next to hero of wand, there is a page of wand. You want a new proposal. Someone new. There is a someone new. Definitely, I can say that there is a someone new who can offer you love, who can propose you. Uh, there is some kind of uh, proposal for you and you want uh, this new beginning, this stable beginning. You want to marry someone, you want a long-lasting relationship with someone. And definitely, uh, you start a new beginning. With this Ace of Sword and with this Page of Wand and the way you're leaving everything, this obsession behind, definitely you're starting a new beginning. And this thing uh, giving this person anxiety and depression. So let's see what else we have for you, Cancer. What else for Cancer? What else for Cancer? We are having here the star. The Empress. As an out outcome, we are having the Emperor. So definitely this person with the star card, there is some kind of distance between both of you. And maybe this person realized that you are out of their reach now. You are like the star, this 
bright and shiny star and they can't reach you there is you distance yourself from this person this person definitely love you definitely dream about you definitely thinking about you continuously they they see you as a, a wish fulfillment and with the star card definitely they see you like a star they they having this love feelings for you but they can't reach you and with this uh, temperance definitely you balancing your energy you are balancing yourself and you are paying attention on yourself you are nurturing yourself and for this person you definitely cutting this person off you you become so strict towards this with this emperor card definitely you you are so strict on this thought of new beginning you definitely so strict on this now you really want to start a new beginning you want a stable relationship you want a long lasting relationship you you want commitment in this relationship and this i think this person is not giving you commitment you deserve that you want but this person is not unable to give you that uh, commitment and you are so strict toward this person like you want a commitment you want stability in your life so let's see what advice messages i should have for you cancer what advice messages i should have for my cancer let her let him go stop blaming yourself it's your destiny make peace with your memories no matter what it's good or bad pray to the god for peace in your life these are few advice messages in the end for you cancer hope this resonated with you and uh, this helpful for you if it helpful for you you can support my channel and thank you so much for listening cancer god bless you bye